Filipino time. Um, this is something you'll have to get used to. There's no way you're going to change it. Um, be it dealing with LTO, uh, which is Land Traffic Office, uh, immigration, meeting a mayor, meeting somebody of a business capacity, um, meeting somebody official uh, within the government. They all turn up late. Um, I remember a governor of Cebu that made everybody wait at a fiesta in England earlier for, I can't remember, it was, it was way over an hour. I can't remember how long. So you've got several thousand people um, in the sun because a governor couldn't be bothered to turn up on time. Um, it's just normal. They just don't care. Um, there's no sense of urgency. Booking an appointment at immigration. I've had a 9am appointment and we've called to say, look, are you going to be there at 9 or do you want me to turn up at 11 because you're never normally there at 9 and they still want you to be there at 9 um, and then they eventually turned up at 1 o'clock. Um, they just don't give it down. Uh, but that is the way they are. Uh, you're not going to change it. Uh, is it arrogance or I don't think it's arrogant. I just don't think they actually care at all. I don't, don't think they bothered in the slightest. Um, but, but there's a handy thing we do where we can. We utilize clerks because um, every office has somebody doing the paperwork or somebody else. I mean, even a doctor has an assistant that does all the paper shuffling and runs and gets coffee and um, whatever else is needed. That is just the way it is in the Philippines. Um, but labor's cheap. So if you've got a clerk that sits in the reception and does everything for every single doctor, etc., well, at least it's employing somebody else. Um, but the point is you can call them and they're a bit more approachable. Uh, because I think a lot of people get a bit arrogant with their position as such become less approachable and more difficult to deal with but a clerk you say well I've got an appointment at, at 11 o'clock are they really going to be there and they'll go I'll give you a call um, our doctor for the kids for example used to do that um, because the clerk would actually call us to say when the doctor had arrived because although we had an appointment half the time the doctor was never there on time um she'd turn up two hours late because she went to a wedding or something so she knew she wasn't going to be there but rather than letting people know she just turns up when it feels she feels like it um that's just that's just the way people are there's no point getting annoyed about it because you ain't going to change it um you can change your doctor um and we did but at the same time, people just see it as normal. Even on when we went airsoft tournament, um, we'd have these 8 a.m. meetings or arrange to meet at lunchtime. Um, and it was an 8 a.m. meeting, they'd turn up about lunchtime. And if it was a lunchtime meeting, they'd turn up about 3 p.m. Everybody does it. <laughs> it's just, um, for me, it's not normal. Uh, the reason it's not normal is because I work in a, a very time, uh, what would you call it? Uh, time is everything. Uh, everything we do is based on time. Uh, it's resources. Every piece of maintenance I work with has a schedule, a schedule for the year. So I know um, cleaning a uh, extract fan, you know, little ones on the, for the toilet, take 15 minutes. So for four times a year, that's one hour. Um, so those hours become quantified, quantified hours become how many engineers you need for the year over the number of assets you got, etc., etc. So I'm very time sensitive <laughs> and tell people that take half a day to turn up on time, uh, to turn up half a day late, um, just so doesn't work in my world. Um, employees don't do it as much though. I, I find employees don't like being shouted at. Employees don't like uh, deductions in salary. Employees know that you don't find it acceptable. 
because they don't do it with Japanese or Korean uh, business people because they won't get cut them any slack and they know it um, so don't ex don't assume you've got to accept it you've got to accept it where you're dealing with officials you don't have to accept it from employees um, same with like builders or whatever uh, me I do a day rate so they work a full day um, I don't care if they turn up at lunchtime but they won't be going home at 5 p.m. They'll, they'll be working till it gets dark um, because they're, they're doing a day regardless you know me I prefer it coming at lunchtime and I prefer working it during the night I prefer working in the evenings I'm not a morning person never happy don't enjoy it I don't like getting up at 6 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Um, because I find that I feel tired in the morning which sets me up for being tired most of the day uh, where I get up later and go through the evenings or the afternoons work gets done more efficiently um, but also I'm happier at those times so I can understand from that point of view but I wouldn't actually tell somebody I was going to turn up at 6 a.m. when I was going to turn up at lunchtime <laughs> so use the clerks get friendly with the clerks give them a bar of chocolate when you're visiting or whatever you're doing um, and just say look can you you know if they're going to be in at 10 can you let me know but if they book me an appointment for 8 o'clock and you know they're going to be at 10 can you make sure that I'm not going to be sat around for hours um, and you can normally work these things Filipinos are very friendly people anyway and you're not going to have too many issues by doing something like that because the, the person that you're talking to is very unlikely to let the person they're working for know anyway especially if there's a free chocolate bar or something in it for them um, but a lot of time they'll do it anyway because they it's not just you that does it other people don't want to be sitting around all day um, so just something to think about Filipino time is a nightmare um, it's something you have to adapt to yeah.